This video presents the third part of the ninth article of the Creed, the Church Teaching and the Church Taught. Question 38. Is there any distinction between the members of the Church? Answer. There is a very notable distinction between the members of the Church, for there are some who rule, and some who obey, some who teach, and some who are taught. Question 39. What do you call that part of the Church which teaches? Answer, that part of the church which teaches, is called the teaching church. Question 40, what do you call that part of the church which is taught? Answer, that part of the church which is taught, is called the learning church, or the church taught. Question 41, who has set up this distinction in the church? Answer, Jesus Christ himself has established this distinction in the church. Question 42. Are the church teaching and the church taught, then, two churches? Answer. The church teaching and the church taught, are two distinct parts of one and the same church, just as in the human body the head is distinct from the other members, and yet forms but one body with them. Question 43. Of whom is the teaching church composed? Answer. The teaching church is composed of all the bishops with the Roman pontiff at their head, be they dispersed throughout the world, or assembled together in council. Question 44, and the church taught, of whom is it composed? Answer, the church taught, is composed of all the faithful. Question 45, who, then, are they who possess the teaching power in the church? Answer, the teaching power in the church is possessed by the pope and the bishops, and, dependent on them, by the other sacred ministers. Question 46. Are we obliged to hear the teaching church? Answer. Yes. Without doubt we are obliged under pain of eternal damnation to hear the teaching church, for Jesus Christ has said to the pastors of his church, in the persons of the apostles, he who hears you, hears me, and he who despises you, despises me. Question 47. Besides the teaching power, has the church any other power? Answer. Yes. Besides the teaching power, the church has in particular, the power of administering sacred things, of making laws, and of exacting the observance of them. Question 48. Does the power possessed by the members of the hierarchy, come from the people? Answer. The power possessed by the hierarchy does not come from the people and it would be heresy to say it did, it comes solely from God. Question 49. To whom does the exercise of this power, belong? Answer. The exercise of this power belongs solely to the hierarchy, that is, to the Pope, and to the bishops subordinate to him. This concludes the third part of the ninth article of the Creed. The next video will present the fourth part of the ninth article of the Creed, the Pope.